Hi, this is Prak with IRAPRAMD, and today we'll be covering a the the anatomy of a balance board, and also um, show you what a common problem is. We get these things. Um, I guess you can order them IO Hawk or some other brand. They come from initially the same place. Uh, the most common problem after riding a few times is that uh, a lot of people have been getting this when you turn it on you got a steady light over here and what that entails is if you try to ride this the only thing that's activating would be this motor right here you can see but this motor is completely dead okay and the problem is this actually uh, there is a infrared balance meter um, that is uh, not working properly and we would need to replace it so in this episode I will show you how to fix this problem where the one light can turn consistently on and the other one does not and um, this is a big issue with a lot of people who has been riding it and sometimes it's just a manufactured defect um, but my shop we do fix this and uh, you can look at the link below it's called digital life dot com or digital life x dot com and uh, i repair md so let's go ahead and um i'm going to show you how to repair this common issue right here if you have this and if you don't have the parts to fix it i will we can definitely fix it for you and if you can do it yourself i'll show you if you have the parts i'll show you how to fix it first thing we need to do is actually power this down all right so now once you have the screw off go ahead and remove the plate Pull out the connectors right here, as you can see, and also go ahead and pull the connector here. This is the LED connector. All right, so now we take the plate out of the way. And so the main issue, the culprit is this right here. And um, what we need to do is to pull this out. This is this this two foot pedal uh, front and back, and uh, the problem is that there's a sensor there, uh, it's not reading the infrared signal. Kind of like a garage door opener where something's in the way, you're going to get that blue obstruction. So this board is damaged, we need to replace the board, or the bulb is damaged, but we really can't get a spare bulb. So what we're going to do is just replace the whole board, and I'm going to show you how to do that. We have screws here, so go ahead and use a Phillips screwdriver. And remove this. Disengage this connector right here. All right, pull the pads off. And so, let me show you how this works. As you can see, these are pedal pressure. And when you apply pressure back or front, it what it does it it it, it blocks the light. It block, blocks the infrared, uh, and then it'll it'll apply pressure where infrared is not visible and open the slits for you all right so this is what the infrared slits look like right there and these are infrared light bulbs front and back there's two of them and they when they are communicating similar to a garage door opener it it will stop all power to the all right so this is a dissection of the same board as you can see here this is the power this is the battery and these are the power cable and the sensor cable and you got the pivot and you got this uh, die uh, this cast metal frame and this is the main logic board right here and then goes to the the balance sensor or the uh, the pressure sensor runs to this motor right here and uh, right, I'm going to show you what the motor inside the wheel look like okay so this is the actual electric motor and you can see this part right here is the one that's resting to the flat side facing upward to where your foot is 
and this is the vertical sensor so at all times um, this will this is pretty much you can say the balance or the the tilt sensor this will always engage the top level right here if this was it finds itself down it will turn off okay so this is how it's main it, it's able to balance it always stay vertical and you won't tip off that's the technology behind it and it's a pretty powerful electric motor and you got right here you got the uh, bearings and so it tucks into here and then what you what you do is you apply the screw to it but anyway so that's the anatomy of how this thing works it's a fairly simple machine um, I have taken quite a few of these and uh, come to be able to uh, reverse engineer this and if you have any issue at all my shop we can take care of it so what I'm going to show you now is but uh the the problem is that the light right here is kind of kind of like uh, not sensing properly so we're doing away with the bad one and we're going to replace it with the good one so I'm going to go ahead and actually replace this and you're going to see by replacing this faulty unit here the, the balance board will again work I'm putting it back into place okay and I'm going to apply the screws in all right so I my final screw into place here so I'm going to and replace the connectors okay so this is the main power to the unit we we'll go ahead and place that back in all right okay this is the LED plug blue LED plug right here back into place and this is the power connector all right this allows it to turn the system on i'm going to put the plate on all right so the screws are back in place let's go ahead and flip this over let's go power it up and see what happens all right okay it's powered up no blue light i'm gonna go ahead and get on this thing And as you can see, it's working perfectly. You can get off. You can see now when you apply pressure, the light comes on. So now this board has been fixed. And all we replaced was a bad uh, pad sensor. This is Prac with iRepairMD. Safe repair. Sometimes it's just a manufactured defect. Um, but my shop, we do fix this. And uh, you can look at the link below. It's called digitallife.com or digitallifex.com and uh, iRepairMD. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to show you how to repair this common issue right here if you have this and if you don't have the parts to fix it I will we can definitely fix it for you and if you can do it yourself I'll show you if you have the parts I'll show you how to fix it first thing we need to do is actually power this down all right so now once you have the screw off go ahead and remove the plate pull out the connectors right here as you can see and also go ahead and pull the connector here this is the LED connector all right so now we'll take the plate out of the way and so the main issue the culprit is this right here and um, what we need to do is to pull this out this is this this two foot pedal uh, front and back and uh, the problem is that there's a sensor there uh, it's not reading the infrared signal kind of like a garage door opener where something's in the way you're going to get that blue obstruction so this board is damaged we need to replace the board or the bulb is damaged 
but we really can't get a spare bulb. So what we're gonna got this uh, die, uh, this cast metal frame, and this is the main logic board right here. And then goes to the the balance sensor or the uh, the pressure sensor. Runs to this motor right here, and uh, right, I'm gonna show you what the motor inside the wheel look like. Okay. So this is the actual electric motor. And you can see this part right here is the one that's resting to the flat side facing upward to where your foot is. And this is the vertical sensor. So at all times, um, this will, this is pretty much, you can say the balance or the, the tilt sensor, this will always engage the top level right here if this was it finds itself down it will turn off okay so this is how it's main it, it's able to balance it always stay vertical and you won't tip off that's the technology behind it and it's a pretty powerful electric motor and you got right here you got the um, bearings and so it tucks into here and then what you what you do is you apply the screw to it but anyway so that's the anatomy of how this thing works it's a fairly simple to do it's just replace the whole board and i'm gonna show you how to do that we have screws here so go ahead and use a phillips screwdriver and remove it just in case this connector right here all right pull the pads off and so let me show you how this works as you can see these are pedal pressure and when you apply pressure back or front it what it does it it, it, it blocks the light it block, blocks the infrared uh, and then it'll it'll apply pressure where infrared is not visible and open the slits for you all right so this is what the infrared slits look like right there and these are infrared light bulbs front and back there's two of them and they when they are communicating similar to a garage door opener it it will stop all power to the all right so this is the dissection of the same board as you can see here this is the power this is the battery and these are the power cable and the sensor cable and you got the pivot and you can machine um i have taken quite a few of these and uh, come to be able to uh, reverse engineer this and if you have any issue at all my shop we can take care of it so what i'm going to show you now is but uh the the problem is that the light right here is kind of kind of like uh not sensing properly so we're doing away with the bad one and we're going to replace it with the good one so i'm going to go ahead and actually replace this and you're going to see by replacing this faulty unit here the, the balance board will again work i'm putting it back into place okay and I'm going to apply the screws in. All right, so I have my final screw into place here. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the connectors. Okay, so this is the main power to the unit. We we'll go ahead and place that back in. All right. Okay, this is the LED plug, blue LED plug right here, back into place. And this is the Hi, this is Prak with IRPRA MD, and today we'll be covering a the the anatomy of a balance board and also um show you what a common problem is we get these things um because you can order them isle hawk or some other brand to 
come from initially the same place. Uh, the most common problem after riding a few times is that uh, a lot of people who's been getting this when you turn it on you got a steady light over here and what that entails is if you try to ride this the only thing that's activating would be this motor right here you can see but this motor is completely dead okay and the problem is this actually uh, there is a infrared balance meter um, that is uh, not working properly and we would need to replace it so in this episode I will show you how to fix this problem where the one light can turn consistently on and the other one does not and um, this is a big issue with a lot of people who has been riding it and some